Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to Winning Women Wednesday with Lady Renee of Transformation Community Church. Thank you all so much for tuning in today, and I pray that all is well with each and every one of you. Well, today I just stopped by to encourage us to draw near to God. Amen. James 4 and 8 says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your, your hearts, you sinners, and purify your, I'm sorry, cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Okay, so when we make the choice to draw near to God, the promise is that he would draw near to us. Amen. So getting closer to God can only happen, though, if we fully surrender and yield ourselves unto him. Amen. Drawing nearer to God requires that we turn away from sin and repent. Amen. The Bible says, draw near to God. He would draw near to you. Cleanse your hands purify your hearts. Amen. So this reminds me of David, right? David is described as a man being after God's own heart, right? David desired to draw closer to God, right? Amen. Psalms 139, 23 and 24, it says, search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxieties, or another translation says, know my anxious thoughts. Amen. See if there's any wicked or offensive ways in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Right. So check this out. Pay attention to the, re the request that the psalmist made in that passage of scripture. Right. It says, Lord, search me, know my heart, try me or test me know my anxieties or know my thoughts, right? So he says, if there's any wicked or offensive ways in me, um, to, it means to, you know, to identify or reveal to me any sin that's in my life, any um, sin that's in my heart, anything that is of me that's in me that is not of you, reveal that to me, Father. And then it goes on to say, and then lead me, right? Lead me in your way. Lead me in your righteous. Lead me in the way that pleases you. Help, amen. Help me to walk righteous and um, in purity. Amen. A way that's pleasing in the Lord's sight. Amen. So I believe that we should all have this same prayer every day. Right. It's so an everyday thing. Right. Have this same prayer every day. We should um, all, ha all have the same desire that God would search us, that God would search us. The Lord searches our motives that ask the Lord to search our minds, to search our hearts. Amen. Our entire being. Amen. To remove everything that is not pleasing to him. Amen. That is a daily ask. Amen. A daily prayer. Amen. We should all have this same desire that God would know our hearts, which he does, right? And that uh, he remove all impurities from our heart. David said, create in me a clean heart and renew the right spirit within me. That is an everyday thing. Amen. And so, and ask God to cleanse us from idols and release us from all things that hurt us, you know, from all things that, that, that we may feel guilty or ashamed about from our past. Amen. At the Lord who the son sets free is free indeed. Amen. And so we should pray and say, Lord, test me or try me, right? The Bible goes on to let us know that the testing of our faith, that we can grow stronger, right? It lets us know that um, we can develop and become more mature Christians. Amen. And more mature soldiers of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so perhaps one of the most important requests that we should have um, is for God to see if there's any offense, offensive ways or any wicked ways within us. Right. And that he may reveal all hidden sin that we um, that we uh, make excuses for, that he revealed those things, right? And to cleanse us and cut those things at the root and remove those things from us, right? And once he has revealed it to us, then we can pray again that the blood of the lamb, the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will cleanse us, will purify us, amen? Amen, and that um, God ultimately will lead us and help us to walk upright in his righteousness, right? So it's only when we yield and totally surrender ourselves unto our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And, that, and when we exalt his will above our will, that's when we can experience what James 4 and 8 says, draw near to God and he would draw near to us. Amen. So remember that we must ask God to cleanse our hands. We must ask God to purify our hearts. Amen. And we can only do this through repentance and by surrendering to Jesus Christ and asking him for forgiveness of our sins. Amen. So listen to next time. Know that I love you, but God loves you so much more. Be intentional. Love on purpose. Blessings. Mm -hmm.